In this masterclass, you are going to build a complete cinematic ice world from scratch using both Gaia and Blender, knowing that you built most of the world procedurally from the first noise node in Gaia to the final composited frame in Blender. My name is Josh. I will take you through a full production style workflow for creating icy environment. I will start by walking you through the interface, node graph, navigation, and essential terrain nodes with a quick introduction and explanation of how nodes work, so that you know exactly where everything lives and how it works. We begin to build a dramatic rocky base terrain using nodes like extended multifractal, erosion, debris and snow simulators, and color our terrain so that we have a texture to use later export high quality height maps, color maps and masks from Gaia in the right formats and resolutions. Once we're in Blender, we will turn our flat plane into a landscape. We will subdivide the terrain and use multiple displacement modifiers to add both large scale and small scale detail, including an interesting diagonal displacement pass to give the whole world a dynamic tilt. We're then going to build a layered material in Blender, which blends rock, snow, ice and is driven by the masks that we exported from Gaia. We also cover a slightly extensive section on bug fixing, uh, if Blender and Gaia do not communicate correctly, or if Blender has UV mapping issues, I'll show you how to track down the common issues and fix displacement problems and clean up seams, so that your terrain actually matches what you saw in Gaia. To sell the mood of the scene, we build a custom HDRI, also in Blender, using layered fog and a slightly modified use of the sky texture. We'll learn how to create a planet, a full planet using a simple texture, a sphere, rings and clouds, then add it to our scene as a HDRI. We will then add multiple fog volumes for distance fog and ground fog using gradients noise and volume scatter to get that cold cinematic atmosphere. Down, of course, our scene is not complete without a hero object, so we will must model a custom spaceship right from scratch, right in Blender. We'll start from a simple cube, of course, uh, and use classic hard surface modeling tools, plus a bit of mirror modifiers to block out the main body, wings, engines. Shading, we will create a metal material and use displacement based textures that we'll generate in another program called JS Placement, which procedurally generates random sci-fi textures, uh, and use that for panel detail and emissive engine glows that will tie into your lighting nicely. To finish off the mood, we add Snow Particle System that uses Motion Blur to create snow streaking across your lens. You can learn how to control the size, density and motion of the particles and how to balance them with your fog and lighting. Last step is polishing the image. In the compositor, we add Glare Streaks and Subtle Bloom and add a color balance to push the cold blues and the white highlights, a vignette to draw your eye to the important parts of your scene, and gentle lens distortion to give you that slight aberration for a cinematic finish. By the end of this course, you will have a fully realized procedural ice world, custom spaceship, atmospheric effects, and a lovely final rendered image that you can proudly put in your portfolio 